Antioxidants and free radicals. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, we hear a lot about free radicals and antioxidants in the news, but how important are they really to health and, and disease? Well, the answer is they're very important. Free radicals are, for instance, the major reason that lung cancer occurs in smokers. So you know that cigarette smoke has many toxic compounds. And most of them are free radicals, or many of them are free radicals that damage the lung tissue. And that's why of all the people who get lung cancer, 87% of them are smokers. So free radicals are these very unstable compounds. And free radicals are not just in cigarette smoke. They're, in, they're, they're hidden all over the place, actually. But free radicals are unstable compounds that can start to damage certain elements within healthy cells. So for instance, it can damage the DNA and cause mutations that can lead to cancer. So free radicals are directly linked to cancer. Also, free radicals can damage the, the cholesterol in our bloodstream, making it more inclined to stick to the walls of the artery, narrowing and blocking arteries, leading to atherosclerosis, heart disease, stroke, and, and related conditions. Also, over our lifetime, free radicals damage our eyes, leading to cataracts and macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of blindness in people over the age of 55. And free radicals, over time, also damage the brain. The brain uses 20% of the body's oxygen at any given time. And as a, as a byproduct of just using oxygen in our tissues, we get oxidative free radicals, which sort of have a corrosive effect on the brain. And it's linked to memory loss and brain atrophy as we get older. So free radicals can damage the brain and also damage the immune system, making it weaker as we get older. So we're more prone to cancer and to you know, more virulent infections and other internal organs are damaged by free radicals just as part of day-to-day -day living. So free radicals are involved in the development of many diseases. They're not the only cause of these diseases, but they contribute to Alzheimer's disease and Lou Gehrig's disease and MS and heart disease and joint inflammatory diseases. All kinds of diseases have free radical components. So what do antioxidants do? Well, antioxidants can quench and neutralize free radicals before they can do a lot of damage to the body or even stop the damage completely. So antioxidants really protect our cells and protect our eyes and protect our brain, protect our immune cells and our blood vessels from free radical damage, even helping to block the free radical damage to the cholesterol in our bloodstream if we're choosing the right antioxidants. So the point is that it, people say, so what is the, what's the most important antioxidant? Well, I will tell you that there isn't one that's the most important. It's that they all sort of complement each other. It's not like one single antioxidant is the antioxidant to take. They work sort of like an orchestra all playing together. They work synergistically. So it's the right dosage and combination of vitamin C and vitamin E succinate and carotenes, lycopene, lutein, CoQ10, certain flavonoids, and many phytonutrients that we get from food like curcumin and and uh, catechins and so on from the right foods. Even omega-3 fats have some antioxidant effects. So uh, an important lifelong goal as part of your wellness regimen, you want to make sure you reduce your free, the free radical damage to your body and you want to make sure you optimize your antioxidant defense. It's just a, a natural thing that any wellness expert will explain to you. So what I've done is I've explained all the details on how to do this along with a review of all the research upon which all of this is based showing how these things impact disease prevention and how antioxidants can even reverse certain disease states. So it's all presented in chapter two of my book called the Machino Optimal Living Program. The truth is you can download that chapter for free at the link below because I want people to get this information. It's invaluable. So I strongly suggest that you download that chapter because it explains exactly which foods and which antioxidants are the ones you should get at the right dosages. And it explains sort of you know, what combinations you should be looking for. And it makes it extremely practical, I must say, because I'm able to do it every day myself. If it were really impractical, you know, it would be too hard for, for me to do and for me to recommend it to patients. So download the chapter, take a look. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and uh, videos I've created, all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my teaching materials and research articles are complete with scientific references 
So you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.